So it's going to be up above the belt. All right, touch them up, come out at the bell. May the best man win. Great expectations here at the Van Andel Arena for Top Ranks Championship Boxing main event between Floyd Mayweather with maybe the flashiest trunks you're ever going to see in the ring. And he's facing this young man from South Africa, the time bomb, Philip Endo. And now the question is, as he begins to sweat, is that fur going to start to get heavy? Will it get that far? He promised that it's not going to go more than six rounds. He put undue pressure on himself, did Floyd Mayweather. And he's out to test the chin of Philip Endo. He knows that if he has the heart, he's going to survive the first couple of rounds. And then he'll just box him the rest of the way. But if he can go out and finish the night early, he's going to make a lot of people happy and send a message to the 140-pounders that Floyd Mayweather is coming strong. Philip Endo playing it smart, trying to establish that jab. Nice left by Floyd Mayweather and a right cross, which seems to stagger Philip Endo momentarily, seeming to take the punches uh, at the beginning of the fight. But both of these fighters are fresh. Both of them are ready to go. Mayweather not really respecting the punching power of Philip Endo. He keeps throwing that jab. Finds Floyd Mayweather there with the right to the body. Mayweather standing more on the palms of his, or the flat-footed more than uh, he ever has in, in recent times. So he's definitely looking to land some power shots against Philip Endo. We must take into account the brittle hands of Floyd Mayweather. He seems to uh, have had medical treatment for them in the recent past. We have uh, Endo on the canvas, but not an official fall. No knockdown. No knockdown is, uh, is indicated by the third man in the ring, Frank Garza. Nice left, but uh, the defense was pretty solid also by Philip Endo. Ooh, solid right counter punch by Floyd Mayweather. Another right, and uh, Floyd Mayweather just picking apart Endo. And that's the thing, you have to pick your poison. Do you want to be outboxed, or do you want to be picked apart on the counter punch, as is the case in this first round by Floyd Mayweather? Ooh, beautiful right once again by Floyd Mayweather. An uppercut right down the middle. Floyd Mayweather picking his sparks, and uh, he's definitely landing the more solid punches in this first round. More aggressive than we've seen Mayweather in a long time against Philip Endo. I don't know if it's disrespect. I don't know if it's the fact that he needs to make a statement in this battle. He does not want to get booed like he did in his previous outings here at the Van Andel Arena. He wants his hometown crowd to be behind him as they are right now, thanks to his boxing skills and his punching power. Beautiful one-two combination once again by Floyd Mayweather, measuring Van, uh, actually, uh, Philip Endo as he comes in. We're gonna be coming to the end of the first round, a solid first round by Floyd Mayweather Jr. making a statement against the top contender in the world at lightweight. And the people here stand up and give him a standing ovation, appreciative of what he's done for them in this first three minutes of action. Remember, take, you got hit take a look something. at some of the best action from the aerial view here. Nice left and then a right top of the head. Those are hurt both fighters and, and Floyd Mayweather really can't give himself the luxury of hitting to the back of the head or to the top of the head because of his brutal hand. So that's one thing to uh, keep in mind. Very happy at uh, the blue corner with uh, Floyd Mayweather. Sending him back. I think there's too much Vaseline on his face. Nick Durant's gonna have to come up and clean him up. There you go. Trying to make the punches slip that Floyd Mayweather is trying to land. And here we go, we get the three minutes of action for round number two. Already an aggressive start by Floyd Mayweather. Tommy Brooks, along with uh, Nick Durant, was telling Endo that he has to, he's being timed when he throws that jab. He's just counterpunching over that jab, so he needs to be very careful. Nice, beautiful right. Another right and a left by Floyd Mayweather. Solid counterpunching by the Grand Rapids, Michigan native, and all the work that uh, Philip Endo did in uh, St. Peter's, Petersburg, Florida, working up for this fight a couple of months there has not shown as of yet in this battle against Floyd Mayweather because Floyd's brought the fight to him. Floyd promised, he's, don't worry, I'm not gonna run, 
and he's not gonna bring the fight to me. I will bring the fight to him, and that he has done in these first two rounds of, of the battle. Floyd with a nice left. Attempting to connect with the jab is uh, Philip Endo. Nice right to the body by the challenger on this occasion. Both of the fighters wearing black trunks, but the man with fur is the local. Floyd Mayweather Jr. who's using the uh, elastic and the ropes to his advantage, using it to slip the punches. He's able to lean back far enough. We saw them adjusting the, the tension in the ropes between rounds and the tension of that right hand on Philip Endo's jaw. He's trying to do a little bit of adjustment on the South African's head. Unable to use his reach advantage as of yet is Philip Endo and maybe Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, applying some of uh, the lessons that his father and his uncles have taught him about how to slip the punches, how to use his shoulders to uh, evade the punches of his opponents. And they're not landing flush. They're landing on the shoulders, but his punches sure are landing on the jaw of his opponent, Philip Endo. And you talk about stepping up in class, stepping up in opposition. The leaps don't get any bigger than the one that Endo took tonight. Floyd Mayweather Jr. More than ever, demonstrating tonight why he's considered one of the best fighters pound for pound in the world. A knockout would seal the deal and would most definitely erase all doubt as his, to his classification amongst the one or two best in the world. The other one, sitting ringside, Roy Jones Jr. Nice jab by Floyd Mayweather Jr. Nullifying completely the height and reach advantage of Philip Endo, who attempts to uh, connect with a solid right, but the basket defense and then the quick jab by uh, Endo makes Floyd smile. A good end to the round by the South African, who connects with the uppercut to the body. Nice hook to the body. And that's it. We come to the end of round number two. Take a look at the best actions in round number two. Excellent counter punching by Floyd Mayweather, the punches and bunches. And uh, also the, the way that he's just lunging after him. He's also risking a lot. So if uh, Endo is a little smart and uh, he can take a step back and try maybe the, the uppercut up the middle, then he'll stop uh, the offense of Floyd Mayweather. So it's a chess game thus far. And in the corner, Tommy Brooks was trying to remind Philip Endo about the training sessions they had in St. Petersburg, Florida, about what to do when a man lays on the rings, exactly as Floyd Mayweather Jr. was attempting to do there. Can he execute the fight plan? That is the question in the minds, not only of Endo, but also of his corner and the fans here at the Van Andel Arena. The one man who's attempting to execute his fight plan to perfection is the world champion at the 135-pound division, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Trying to land the lead right is Philip Bendo. The one who lands the right cross, though, after the jab is Floyd Mayweather Jr., the classic one-two. Nice left by Endo, another left, and then the combination to the body. So Endo may be gaining a little confidence and solace in what he was told in the corner by Tommy Brooks and Nick Durant that he's still in the fight. Nice body shots by Endo. Attempting to slow down the movement and the punching power of Floyd Mayweather. He's trying to tie him up as much as he can, not to allow the power and the speed of Mayweather to be evident. But once he gets that right hand loose, watch out, because it's landing at, play, at will. Another nice right to the forehead, basically. A nice body shot, a right to the stomach by Floyd Mayweather. Lands downstairs, lands upstairs, and now we see uh, Philip Endo trying to do a little bit of damage to Floyd. Floyd, nice step to the body, then the right cross. And Floyd is so quick that he just takes half a step back, and that's enough to counteract whatever Endo is doing. You see him lunge in, that's dangerous. Because of the headbutts, landing solidly there, although the gloves were up by Endo. Nonetheless, those punches still tend to hurt. 
making a miss as Endo on that occasion. Lands a rod of his own. A left hook, but look at the right-hand action by Floyd Mayweather. He can land it, and then he can bring it back in a defensive position where nothing is going to land on his face. He says he's a pretty boy because fight after fight, you never see a mark on his face. He's just as pretty when he leaves as when he walked in. If mom and the wife say so, Get him up. who are Get him we up. to challenge that? <laughs> Ten second warning for this third round. 12 round championship fight. And the people are on their feet once again at the bad end of the arena for a great finish to three rounds of action. Can't Take a look him. at that right cross that Floyd Mayweather uh, once again used to punish. And Don, what we're talking about, just a little bit of space that he's going to create for himself, pushes off, and then he's going to come in with that powerful right. And then we see another angle of uh, the action that Floyd Mayweather uh, was using to uh, hurt the time bomb Endo in that round. The jab, and then the work to the body. A little hook that's efficient because it opens up the opportunities to throw upstairs where Floyd Mayweather is extremely effective. We're in the fourth round, world championship fight for the WBC lightweight championship of the world. A low blow by Endo, a lot of head movement, and a lot of punches landing all over the place by Floyd Mayweather. People excited here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as you can appreciate by the way they stand up uh, after any uh, semblance of something positive being done by Floyd Mayweather Jr. Nice jab there by Floyd. The championship now using uh, unorthodox defense, but an effective one nonetheless. Let him go, Philip. Let him go. And in the corner, they were telling uh, Philip Endo, throw punches, land them wherever, whether they be the body, the shoulder, the arms, just punch and land wherever. It'll slow him down. But on the other hand, he hasn't been throwing too much to the body, and you can't give yourself the luxury of allowing Floyd Mayweather to keep doing his thing. End up trying to land the rabbit punches. If anything else doesn't land, that one will. Now Floyd with a quick right. Both of them trying to go to the body. Endo receives a good left by Floyd, a right cross, another left hook to the body. You see the mouth opening uh, of Philip Endo. It's those body shots that are definitely hurting him. Floyd should continue to throw to the body because that's where you can see the grimace in Endo's face. He feels the punches to the body. Upstairs, he's going to hurt, but he's not going to hurt as much as he does downstairs. Chop the legs down, and the tree will fall. something to that effect about chopping a tree down from the bottom up. The legs go, the head falls. And you can see the conditioning being sapped out of the body of Philip Endo by the intensive body work of Floyd Mayweather. Then the right cross, the left hook, the face just punishing Philip Endo. And I don't know how long this is going to go, really, because you can see the look of discouragement in Endo's face. He's not able to get off. He's not able to do much against Floyd Mayweather. He predicted six. He put the undue pressure on himself. He predicted a knockout just to the to appease the fans at home. And he's doing his best to try to make it all happen. It's Floyd Mayweather, who there received a good right hand, maybe the best shot that Endo has been able to land in this fight. Another right shot, a small by Floyd Mayweather. Round four is about to come to an end, as they all have, with these two guys in the center of the ring, interchanging punches in what has become a heated fight. Take a look at precisely at those flurries that Floyd Mayweather threw so precisely in that round. The body shots, those are the ones that really, really punished Philip Endo. And then that right hand, the overhand right, that left right up the middle, and then he's just incessant. Mayweather also is a defensive wizard, and he keeps showing that tonight. Look at that right hand. Anything that Endo throws isn't going to land solidly. In order to land solidly, he's got to go behind the head, which Endo seems willing to do. Round five of a 12-round battle for the WBC lightweight championship of the world. Maybe the last time you see Floyd Mayweather at the 135-pound limit.
Nice right cross. Beautiful shot by Floyd Mayweather, who let Endo get off, and then all of a sudden took a baby step to the side and connected. Body shots galore by Floyd, trying to sap the energy out of Philip Endo. If he works you upstairs, it hurts. If he works you downstairs, it hurts even more. And that's what Endo, the one of the top-rated challengers in the WBC, is finding out the hard way against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Quick left once again by Floyd. The defense by Floyd. A little bit of head movement, always at right, up against the jaw. Trying to spin him around is uh, Philip Endo. Floyd too smart for that. He's trying to trying to use one of Floyd's favorite tricks. Double left, quick, but not powerful. The legs are getting shaky on Philip Endo and more when you get to see those power punches by Floyd Mayweather. Nice left, a nice right. On Greer Street is Philip Endo. He's not gonna let him tie him up. Floyd Mayweather wants to finish this now. He set six, but he'll settle for five. Beautiful shot by Floyd Mayweather. He's measuring his opponent nicely. A nice jab, a beautiful right cross. Punches and bunches, and kids watching at home, this is how you want to finish a fight. You want to measure your opponent, you want to rock him with flurries of punches, and you want to make him pay for being in there with you. Floyd Mayweather finally gets a, a right hand landed on him by Philip Endo, but Endo, you got to hand it to him. He's got a ton of heart. He came in here with one dream, and that was to dethrone Floyd Mayweather. But that dream has been thrown and set back many a time in the ring, and that's what Floyd is hoping to do tonight. He's landing, but he's not landing flush. Floyd Mayweather's practically laughing at Philip Endo, who's emptying the gas tank here in the fifth round. He's a desperate fighter at this juncture of the fight. He's basically letting him tee off. Floyd knows that Endo is not doing absolutely anything to him, that the punches no longer carry any dynamite. The time bomb has been detonated, but it's been detonated by the bomb squad because there's absolutely nothing there. There is something in Floyd Mayweather's arsenal, and he wants to prove that. He wants to finish it off. He's got 12 seconds to do it in round five. Another beautiful right. He keeps shaking Philip Endo, who once again takes the punch, and he's standing in front of Floyd Mayweather. Somehow, the heart keeps him afloat. Gonna take a look early on in the round. The beautiful left and that right cross, another right cross. And that right was just landing at will on the face of Philip Endo, who really has got to start to do something. And then the defensive and psychological battle. If you land, it doesn't do anything, so go ahead and have at it. And then Floyd Mayweather's finishing strong, and really only the heart and the lion's will of this young man from South Africa kept them up during that fourth, that fifth round, the sixth. This is where Floyd predicted it would end. Can he make it happen? Muhammad Ali used to do it all the time. Can Floyd Mayweather Jr. rise to the occasion? Does it really matter at this stage of the game? I think it's one of the best fights we've seen out of Floyd in a long time. And there, the left landing, and now we see staggering Philip Endo, who is really close to making Floyd's prediction come true. It could be the end for Endo, that beautiful right, and then the left. He's in trouble once again. Floyd Mayweather picking his spots. He's just picking him apart. He's playing with him, toying with him psychologically at this stage of the game. It would almost be better to do what he said he would do at the beginning of the fight when he did that double slash of the throat. Just finish him off and call it a night. Beautiful jab by Floyd Mayweather. It's just nothing Endo can do anymore. Nice jab once again, a little counter by Endo, but there's nothing behind the punches of the South African. And there he goes down for the first time in the sixth round. No knockdown, says Frank Garza. He says it was a push, but I don't think Floyd is gonna leave any doubt. On this occasion, he is the better man in the ring, and the time bomb is about to explode, but it's gonna explode on Endo. Tick tock, tick tock, here we go. Floyd Mayweather is about 
to pull the trigger on something special against Philip Endo. It's been a battle. He's been punishing him, especially in the fifth and sixth round. Endo has got no legs. He's not in his five senses in the ring. And Floyd Mayweather is about to demonstrate if he is a good finisher or not. One minute left in the sixth round. Floyd Mayweather keeps working, keeps punching, keeps using that jab to perfection. Now he's got his back up against the ropes. From every angle, Floyd Mayweather can land. A beautiful counter, though, by Endo, but there's just nothing behind him. There's just no legs and no power left in his arms to counteract the offensive ability that has been demonstrated on this occasion by Floyd Mayweather Jr. talking in his ear. Working the body once again. A left hook maybe would finish it. And what an emphatic way to do that if he could do it in that manner. Beautiful right shot by Floyd. The counter punching by Philip Endo. He's got him up against the ropes and it seems he's not gonna make his prediction come true to finish it in the sixth round, but it seems that it would just be a matter of time before Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather's hand is raised. Thank you. Keep punishing me. Was this a knockdown or not? There comes the right. A uh, little push action. I think it was the accumulation of punches, though, that really sent Endo down. It wasn't so much one clean punch, but it was just the fact that he had been working on him so hard, so solidly. And there he goes, staggering back against the ropes once again. In the corner, Tommy Brooks and oh, Nick Durant basically told Endo, this is it. You get one more round, either you do this or it's over. You can't get punished this way. You've got to have a future in this, in this ring. And uh, if he keeps punishing you this way, you're never going to be the same. We've seen it many a time where fighters are never the same after a bout. That could be the case against uh, Floyd Mayweather for Philip Endo. Just a step up in class that not many are able to make. And as a matter of fact, no one yet has been able to make that step up in class against Floyd Mayweather in his professional career, which spans officer, now officer. 31 fights. Step back, step back. Nice combination by Floyd Mayweather, first up top, then down at the body. The pretty boy, just working that left at will, and then when the right cross is available, he just lands that to his pleasure. Short punches, not effective, not solid at all by uh, the time bomb, Philip Endo. The jab is working. But that's the last thing that goes, really. The jab is a punch that you use to measure your opponents. Floyd Mayweather is there. The, pu the punch is landing, but it's got nothing behind it. Watch Attempting the body Watch shots is uh, Philip Endo. Be careful with the kid, says Frank Garza. Nice body shots by Floyd Mayweather. The left hooks downstairs and then upstairs with the uppercuts and the hooks. They're looking at him very closely in the corner is Tommy Brooks and Nick Durant. They're not gonna let this go much longer if he keeps getting pounded like he is right now. And now there is no disputing the fact that that was a clean knockdown. Three or four rights in succession and that's it. So the Nick Durant throws in the towel. He's waving the towel over in the red corner. The fight is over. The fight is over. The fight is over. Fight is over. It's over. It's a knockout for none other than Floyd Mayweather Jr. He promised sixth, he delivered in seventh, and the crowd is delighted. Listen to them. Nick Durant specifically already had the towel waving in 
his right hand, but this is the fight that devastated Endo. And this is the image that Floyd Mayweather, May Mayweather once sent around the world for all the other contenders to see. Do you want a piece of this? Is the message that Floyd Mayweather sent out tonight at the Van Andel Arena. And finally, silencing the boos that he had heard many a time from his hometown crowd because he didn't devastate his opponents, because he didn't finish the way he did tonight. He left no doubts that he is back. The hands seem perfect tonight. Michael Buffer with the time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Garza calls a halt to this contest. The official time, one minute. 50 seconds of round number seven, the winner by knockout victory, and still the undefeated WBC lightweight champion of the world, the pride of Grand Rapids, Michigan, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Floyd. That was a uh, terrific performance. Why did you feel you could stand and fight with Endo? First of all, I'd like to thank God for this victory because without him, all this wouldn't be possible. Um, I feel that um, I've never seen him fight before, but I know he's a big power puncher. And uh, just showing versatility, trying to show the fans that I can fight in the inside too and get a fans some exciting fights instead of moving every fight. Why haven't you done this before? Uh, switching up. I mean, I like to just, you know, get the victory the best way I know how. Today I feel if I let him throw all his power shots, you know, I'm catching him on my shoulder, catching him on my arm, eventually he'll wear down and I can get him in the later rounds. Do you feel that you can do this especially against a taller opponent? Well, um, I don't Because matter. you've had victories like this <laughs> against Corrales and, and uh, Gennaro Hernandez. I don't really know, you know, what opponents I can do it on, but he was strong and tough, and I feel like, you know, once I move up to 140 pounds, uh, he'd take over the lightweight division. It's between him and Victoriano Sosa, between those two guys who are the toughest lightweights. All right, let's take a look at the knockout and you describe what happened and why you saw that your right hand was, he was open for your right hand all night long. Well, I pulled counter, that's a pull counter. That was one, two, and I think, and three. And, and, and one more, three, probably even four. Did you notice quickly early in the fight that he was so open for that right hand, or had you been uh, told by your brain trust that you could expect that? <laughs> well, my uncle Roger said he watched tapes on him, before, and before we came out the dressing room, he said, this is the type of jab you're going to be throwing. So you can look forward to using your pull counter, and it, it, it will work in the fight. And so that's what I did, and, and I feel good. Do you feel differently about coming off of a fight like this than you have from just dominating an opponent with your boxing skill? Well, I Yes, it feels good today to do this in front of my fans in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, these, these are my first fans. It feels good tonight. I feel good. There are some very good uh, challengers out there in the lightweight division still, like Lescano and Casamayor and possibly Freitas, maybe some others. Why wouldn't you want to clean that up before <laughs> you moved up in weight? Well, I actually fight these guys in the past. I've been trying to get uh, Lescano, Casamayor, free tests in the past. These guys didn't want to fight me, so I'm finna move, move up to bigger and better things. I'm looking forward to fighting Arturo Gotti next. That's a big pay-per-view fight for me, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. I have to tell you, I don't want to bring you any bad news, but Arturo Gatti's manager, Pat Lynch, told me yesterday there would be no Gatti Mayweather <laughs> fight in 2004. Well, if, so think, then where, where do you go? Why would you go up there if you, if you have good challengers at 135. Well, these guys, they say they want to fight, but then they don't ever want to fight. They've been there for the longest. Well, that has to do with money. You know that. Uh, well, I got to get the, you know, I got to get the, the big piece of the money because uh, I'm going to prove myself over and over again, man. Floyd Mayweather is willing to fight any fighter from 154 on down. You bring him and I'll take him. You can mark my word to that. Thank you, and again, congratulations for Thank an outstanding you. fight.